and everything how everything goes and how how everything goes and how you supposed to more likely see how or behold how everything works in life period this is uh the ideal of the message that I'm going to teach you that you must look at life and look at everything in this idea and you will see how you know how God first of all how God does things and how he established things pretty much concerning earth and the whole universe you will find out the whole idea once you understand this what I'm going to teach you and it's called the reality of uh accordingly accordingly the reality of accordingly that God does things and life works accordingly now the thing is the problem is people don't really you know uh are, are, well here's the thing like instructions uh the instructions directions if you the ideal of them if you follow the instructions or the directions what you're supposed to get well, like more like step one, step two, step three, step four, step five, step six, bam, you get the result of what whatever you doing or making or whatever or building or or baking like a brownies or building a bicycle or something. You get the if you follow the directions accordingly, you get the result that you're supposed to get. Now the problem now, the problem of a lot of people, or pretty much, let's talk about Satan and how he got everybody operating in darkness, that he has everybody, that they don't see things accordingly. Really, when you operate in, watch this, spiritual darkness, spiritual darkness is all about helping people see things in their knowledge, to see things in their knowledge viewpoint. That's the carnal mind. That's how the carnal mind is established that Satan wants you to look at things in the knowledge viewpoint. If he can keep you thinking according to your own mind concerning your knowledge, he as what you, as what Paul says that in Romans eight and six, the, for the carnal mind, for the to be carnal minded is death. Because here's the idea: the idea is he wants you to have this knowledge. He wants you to have all these knowledge. More likely, let's talk about the steps. Let's say, uh, let's say baking a cake. You know, uh, you have to have this step one, step two, step three, step four, step five. See, and this is how the correct way to bake the cake. What Satan wants you to do is like, you know, like you need the uh, the the dough, you need the eggs, you need the um, you know, milk. And you need this and need that. And then bam, do this, do that. Boom, you get a cake. Satan wants you to do, he wants to say, well, you don't have to have eggs. You can just put, you know, milk and, you know, the dough in there. Or you can replace, you can replace. Yeah, definitely. <laughs> Doing a replacement because Satan's trying to get you, number one, to reuse the things of this earth. People and things on this earth to replace what God that blew breath inside of us and we became a living soul. He's trying to replace what's supposed to be there with something with something else. He's trying to replace Satan desires you to replace love, love with lust. He desires you to replace joy with sorrow. He, you know, uh, desire you to replace uh, this false peace, you know, uh, uh, violence, anger, fat, you know, chaos with peace. And he do it slightly to get you to compromise the order in the steps of what needs to be done. Like I, as I show you with the cake, he said, well, you can have the eggs. You can have only one egg. It says two eggs. Well, just one egg, you know, you don't need two eggs, you know, or, or you can have, you know, milk. You just need a little milk. You know, instead of saying have no milk, he said, just have a little milk. You know what I'm saying? Not the proper amount. You know what I'm saying? And and when you're supposed to put the dough in first, say, oh, just put the eggs in first. You know what I'm saying? You know, don't go by the uh, instructions 
You know what I'm saying? Concerning it's saying, just do this first and see what result you get out of it. And of course, his ideal, of course, is going to be based upon the flesh. And the flesh is what we will firstly react to and really respond to than what we will do in the spirit. Because unfortunately, you know, we're born in sin and shaped with iniquity. And, you know, we have, you know, we're in a condition that we will respond to our flesh then quicker than our spirit. So he will create a system to get us. He will be, and we will look at the word of God accordingly of how we will see it based upon the flesh. And, and, and we will do things out of order and disorder and think that it's supposed to produce the results that we have been looking for. Is how he knows how to get you to, you do it based upon your carnal mind. Because in your carnal mind, it makes somewhat sense, you know. That's what is somewhat sense. Don't make, it doesn't make all the way sense, but it just makes somewhat sense. And it's like, all right, it gratifies the flesh. Okay, let's do it. <laughs> you know, it's how the response, the, how we respond concerning how we do things in life. And we think that okay is working, but bad results are happening, unfortunately. And not just bad results to you, but bad results of people around you is the problem. And like I said, the carnal mind, it, to be carnal mind, it leads to death. It's to make things based upon your instructions, based upon your orders and stuff like that. And the problem is not seeing things accordingly will cause that to happen. Uh, I'm kind of shaking, so I'm trying to... Okay, there you go. Um, to see things not accordingly is what how things can mess up. But as much as we want to believe that this can work out like that, if we just tweak it, you know what I'm saying? Or, guys, what Satan wants you to do is he's a perverter. Perverter means to twist. As much as he wants to twist it, that it seem like it's... The answer. It seems like it's working. It seems like it's a because we don't see things and we don't follow things accordingly to the instructions that's given to. Like, you know, I'll show you about the church. It's just simple. The problem was going to church. It's not in unity. It's not in one accord to where it was established. It's a system that was established on one accord in the day of Pentecost in Acts 2, first chapter. You know what I'm saying? I will show a church. Acts 2, first chapter, how much the church was established in one accord, how we're supposed to be operating in unity as one body and this. But when this idea of having many churches with many denominations, with many things, and, and it's about you and, and about what people like you to see you do this preaching, do this singing, do this whatever you do in the ministry, they will prefer to think that this is the right way to go. Then than this because it has something to do with them and them being men of them being magnified in the flesh. And but the truth is that the church was established on one accord and it can sit there right in that Bible a one accord and in the in the kingdom of God as it says that Jesus says in Matthew 23 that it oper well it talks about how they shut up the kingdom of God you know what I'm saying? The, the scribes and Pharisees, because they was not operating accordingly to the instructions of the word of God, of the Torah. The, the scribes and Pharisees wouldn't operate according to the structures of the Torah. They were taking the Torah, taking scriptures, religion, and making it to make it, you know, the way they want to make it based upon them, the people seeing them. You know, that system is still going on right now. You know, you take a couple of scriptures and say, hey, I got this ideal of Jesus Christ. Come follow it. You know what I'm saying? Everybody, oh, I like that ideal of Jesus Christ. And I'll follow that. But it's not the scripture of the whole Bible. You know, it's not based upon the whole Bible concept of Jesus Christ and God and everything else. It's just, you know, some couple of scriptures and you got all these denominations. And the thing is, the reason why people are believing the ideal of that working is because it associates with something uh, that's based upon their flesh and, you know, and this ideal of being unified, this idea of being unified that people following people pretty much, you know what I'm saying, that people, you know, certain people are 
will like to just be with other people just to be with other people that I see in people that are in, you know, these, you know, religious cliques, I guess you want to call them, um, that goes. But if you do things accordingly, you get the proper result. Work out. Like I said, you know, if we follow this according, we're supposed to get the miracles. If you go in 1 Corinthians 12, it's supposed to perceive miracles, mirror working of miracles. Uh, all, uh, it's supposed to produce the outcome that is supposed to be good. Like, you know, I did a, a post one time. Uh, me plus Jesus supposed to equals Jesus. I mean, it's supposed to be me being a representation of Jesus Christ. The acts of Jesus Christ. I'm supposed to heal the sick. I'm supposed to raise the dead. I'm supposed to produce the outcome that did. If I follow the scriptures accordingly, it's supposed to produce the result that it's supposed to bring. It's that simple that when things are done accordingly, the outcome comes, to, the genuine outcome comes out. That is important to see things in accordance. Like people in the flesh will not see things accordingly. You know what I'm saying? People in the spirit will see things accordingly. But it's simple to judge. I mean, it's simple to find out to see if people want to see things accordingly. To talk to them, you just present the scriptures and you just show how it's supposed to make sense concerning 2 plus 2 equals 4. And, you know, you just show accordingly and how the situation is supposed to go and the purpose of it. That's the problem. Of people not following things accordingly, it doesn't fulfill its purpose. It's not like I said; it's not going to become this cake. This cake is not going to be a cake. It's going to be somewhat a cake. You know what I'm saying? It's going not going to taste right because you know someone made these adjustments. You know what I'm saying? Based upon because what they like, you know, and it's that's the problem of how things don't work out right because people want to do things based upon. What others like, you know what I'm saying? That's where you get the sugar of the earth and not the salt of the earth. Okay, that's another message. But anyway, but the thing is, things have to go accordingly in order for you to get the results the way it's supposed to go. And if you don't believe in that ideal reality, you will not fulfill, nothing, a purpose will not be fulfilled, whether it's your purpose or other purpose, other person's purpose or the earth purpose. If you don't treat something right and does things and follow the instructions or the directions of it, you're not going to get the outcome of the performance or what it is that's given to you. It's just that simple of the of the reason why you should understand that things operates accordingly. That if you want life to go right, you have to do things accordingly to something that is right. If you want things to go wrong, just mess up the right accordingly. And it will go wrong or it will go somewhat wrong, you know, and people get comfortable of somewhat wrong. And you get this system that we got right now that's going on in the earth that's getting more wrong and more wrong, more wrong, get, I think, more wrong, more wrong, produce more wrongs. See, more wrong, produce more wrongs. I hope you got that. But that's what you get in this world, in this sad of the world system we live in. But guess what? Things are finna go operate accordingly when God's plan gets in place and God's uh, divine plan. Next step, his next step happens because people don't really, people think his next step is the rapture. No, not, that's not the next step. Next step is 1 Corinthians 15, 23. Things are finna get in order. Things are finna get in order accordingly to where it's supposed to go. And those that want to be about that order will be about that order. But those that don't want to be about that order, just follow the, you know, morons that will embrace an order that does incorrect and do more wrong to be produce more wrongs. I hope you got that. All right, that's the message. I hope you understand the idea of being accordingly is how things are supposed to be, but not trying to make these uh, uh, ridiculous adjustments to life to to pretty much sabotage something that's already good that was created in the beginning that God created in, in six days and said it was good. And you done turn it bad because you want to do it the way you want to do it.
unaccordingly, I guess. All right, that's the message. The copy of the glory here forever and ever in Jesus' name, amen.